What's going on everybody? This is your boy Jemiah back in the house and uh, today we're going to react to people that are just too Jamaican. And what I mean by too Jamaican is, you know what I'm saying, like, uh, let me just start off by saying I'm a Jamaican so I understand that there's certain things and certain characteristics of a Jamaican that, that makes us who we are. I understand that. But it comes a time when you got to cut the shit. And you know, the thing that's funny about with me, when people, if I don't say anything and I'm just standing there, People don't know, you know, they don't understand. Like, if I'm talking to you in person, you understand, like, yo, all right, this dude got some kind of island in him. You know what I'm saying? There's something going on. But sometimes I just sit there and watch it. And the, the thing that pisses me off about Jamaicans is this. It'll be a regular, just normal setting. You know, for instance, the other day, I'm in a, um, I'm in an ice cream parlor and shit. I'm getting some ice cream. And it's me, it's me, one of my homies. And, uh, you know, I'm getting some ice cream for the kids or whatever like that. And we're just sitting there. It's a packed place. You know what I'm saying? Dude comes in. You know what I'm saying? No dreads. You know, no dreads or nothing like that. Just a little a, a little short, dark-skinned dude, you know, with his girl or whatever like that. And he sees somebody in it that he knows. So, automatically, you already know when a dude's trying to be... This is a sign of being too, too Jamaican. Like, extra Jamaican with cheese. With some fucking jerk sauce. He puts the two fingers like he's making a gun and then go up behind the guy like, yo, yo, the like, like, listen, listen, guys, look, look, I'm going to tell you this right now. Why are you doing that? It's America. So don't run up like, like, yo, and you know what's crazy? Like that, that's sort of like an intimidation factor because when I was growing up, it wasn't cool to be Jamaican when I was growing up. Like, you know, in my area where I grew up and shit like that, like people would make fun of Jamaicans. You know what I'm saying? We had the holy, holy belt, you know, the belts with the holes in it. You know what I'm saying? The regular yard belt and shit. And, um, you know, we used to wear, like, a lot of the, you know, the, the, um, the tank tops that had the holes in them and shit like that. You know, it was just part of the culture. You know what I'm saying? I'm rocking it. You know, I have my American friends like, yo, what the fuck you doing, bro? What kind of shit is that? You in a fishnet, nigga? Like, and I'm like, yo, I, yeah, I'm, you know, pretty much it didn't really matter to me. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, I'm, I'm really, really good with criticism, so it didn't really affect me. That was the reasoning behind why I was able to eventually take over a lot of the areas in where I was because I wasn't affected by a lot of the bullshit. I was able to see through to what I wanted till the end. So, you know, like, it wasn't cool to be Jamaican back then. Jamaicans started to take off a little bit. You know, being in my own bone tequila, um, you know, Bujabanta and shit like that started to take off in America. Other than, you know, and, you know Shabba Ranks and shit like that. And other than them being mad outrageous towards homosexuals and the whole Bataman for dead and, yo... You know what I'm saying? Yo, two man, ogre pan, I kiss up and I lay down in a bed and all that kind of shit like that. Um, they were start, they, a lot of people started to like their music. And yes, Jamaicans was biting every goddamn hit song that was out way before that, but it just became more predominant. But during this time, when the transition started to change and people started to like Jamaicans, you know what I'm saying? Um, it was more of an involvement in the community with them. They were allowed to be walking around with their dreads and shit. A lot of shit started to change. Um, during the times that I was growing up and, um, you know, the biggest thing was this, whenever there was some kind of altercation and a dude wanted to scare somebody, I don't know if you guys ever, ever, ever witnessed this, like a dude out of nowhere that was just American would just turn Jamaican and they would get away with it for a little bit. Like, you know, like you about to fight a dude like that, you about to fight a dude and all of a sudden like, yo, what a blood clot, you know what I'm saying? And that shit would work, you know, extra Jamaican with cheese, yo, that shit would work in some cases. I actually sat there and watched it. Me and my brother used to laugh like this dude right here. And the dude that was screaming out the uh, excessive Jamaican shit was a punk. But that shit would scare off one of the dudes because they're like, yo, yo, I heard them dudes is crazy. I heard them, you know, I heard them Jamaicans is crazy. And listen, I'm going to explain something. I'm not taking anything away from a real Yardman, which is a real Jamaican dude. You know what I'm saying? A real dude that is just ready to put it in, put in work. But every Yardman is not a gangster. So... And most Yardman is not going to create excitement if that's what they're about. You know what I'm saying? Yardman don't create excitement. Yardman is the thing like this. Like, if it's in public situation, a man will let you know. Like, look, all right, continue to do what you're doing. Everything going to be all right. And just leave. And then you never see a man again that he's talking to. That's a Yardman. You know what I'm saying? You got to keep in mind, in Jamaica, in the certain parts of the ghetto and shit like that, um, you know, the, the areas that, 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 that I'm accustomed to, you know, you know, certain areas where the tour buses don't go, and if they do go through it, when a man going to take your watch, a man chop off your whole arm, a man chop off your head for your necklace, like, and it doesn't make no sense because the, the neck is still on your body, but dudes is just hungry down there. Those, that's not to be compared with a dude that's in America that's working a nine to five at Friendly's flipping burgers, and then now he getting into a fight and he's just like, yo, blood clot. Listen, I'm just letting guys know, don't be intimidated by that. 
know what I'm saying? If you're going to slap a dude, slap a dude across his face. Either way. A man could be running around with a Bob Marley t-shirt on. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. Dennis Brown. All kind of crazy shit. You know what I'm saying? He could do whatever he want. Don't fall for the, the, the crazy excitement trap. You know what I'm saying? That, that, that's too Jamaican. And like I said, getting back to the ice cream parlor. Like you coming in there and putting a fake gun in an establishment of Caucasians with cameras everywhere. What happens if they feel frightened and they don't know what the fuck you're doing? And then you can't, the dude is carrying off a mad loss. I'm just distancing myself. And, you know, he's talking in yard terms. Accent is mad terrible. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just saying it because, you know, a lot of the people, my homie that's around, that's next to me, don't really understand what he's saying. But he's just saying a bunch of bullshit. You know what I'm saying? And it just seems like it's exciting. And, and then, like, his girlfriend is happy. And like, yo, what the fuck is going on? Like, is that necessary to go into an ice cream parlor, put a fake gun up to a guy's head that you know, and just start carrying on like a fucking idiot because you feel like you can? That's, that, that's what I mean by two Jamaican. And we have to understand this. Like, two Jamaican also is when you know a guy your whole life Born in America, and the motherfucker, you guys go through school, everything like that, dude's American. You graduate, dude all of a sudden has dreads, and is talking in fluent fucking patois. Just a yard man. That's two Jamaican. Dudes, when you're driving around with a fucking Jamaican flag in your fucking, your fucking rear view mirror. That's two Jamaican. We, it's like dudes that drive around... With, 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 with like, you know, like you, like we, we understand, like if you're a Christian, we understand that you praise Jesus, but we don't need to know that you love Jesus on the back of your car and your bumper with a stupid ass design. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, look, I'm not, that's just my opinion. You know what I'm saying? Like in the, in the great, in, in the words of the, of the great Shakespeare, thou protesteth too much. Everybody don't need to know what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's just that you, you just have to know. How to, how to tone down what you're doing, and, and that's it. Like, I, like you know, you don't need to walk around with a yard belt with the holes in it and all the colors and shit like that in 2014. You know what I'm saying? People don't need to know that. We, we don't need to see you walking around with that. We, you know, we don't need extra loud talking in, yard, you know, in Patois to let everybody in the fucking whole area or mall or wherever you are know that you're Jamaican. Because the person that you're talking to to place your order with is American. And you have to make them understand what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? And it's similar to like when you walk into a Jamaican restaurant. Everybody in there is not from Jamaica. You know, most of them, you know, they, they, they've been around Jamaica. They understand the language and whatever. But you would never know that. Everybody is extra yard. Extra fucking Jamaican with fucking a, a goddamn pistachio on top. Like, listen, calm the fuck down. It's like this. I'll go into a Jamaican restaurant, right? And I'll order, I, you know, I'll order something like, yo, let me get an oxtail, I'll write some peas, you know what I'm saying? I'm going I'm I'm to take a thing over there, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to take a thing and, you know, Miss G. Maya, she's going to get like a jerk chicken and something, whatever like that. You know what I'm saying? And then when you go in there like that, it'll just be a regular thing. But once you order, step back and watch an American go in there and order. Or somebody of a different nationality that don't speak the language. And look at how it happens. They go in there like, yo, can I, can I have an oxtail? And like, yo, 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 bring up an oxtail. Like, listen, calm the fuck down. You don't need to, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is why people don't really like going into Jamaican restaurants because everybody got a fucking attitude. Everybody got an attitude that everybody is the biggest shit ever. And you in a broke down fucking building with one fucking stove. This is why they don't really take off the way they're supposed to take off. And this is my people. So I don't want to hear shit. And I'm talking about in the U.S. part. You know what I'm saying? Because in Jamaica, it's different. Because, you know, for the most part, everybody down there mostly is yard, whether you're a Chinese yard, man, whatever it is. When you come in there, it's a different type of setting. Up here, everybody get different and act crazy and shit like that. They don't, they don't understand that they're in, they're in the U.S. Like, what the fuck? Why is everybody so excited? It doesn't make any sense. And that's what, I'm, that's what I mean by too Jamaican. Like, you don't have to be too Jamaican. Like, if I go into a Spanish restaurant, right? And I'm ready to shit my brains out because I'm going there to get frijoles with some arroz con pollo and shit. I love going into my Spanish restaurants. Yo, they talking, everybody just having fun, the Spanish music going on. You just want to start dancing and shit, start doing the salsa and merengue and shit. They, they take your order, you go and sit down and chill, whatever. I've been over to like fucking really, really exquisite 
uh, Spanish restaurants where they have the fucking, you know, the live fish there in the water. They, they, they get it for you right there, fry it for you. The clams and all that shit. Always the same thing. You know what I'm saying? They, everybody is happy with you unless you go in there and you happen to be an African-American Negro and you have a Spanish woman with you. If you go in there with your, your same ethnicity, they don't got a problem with you. You go in there being black African-American Negro with one of their women, they are going to give you attitudes. I, I, I accept that. I understand that. But other than that, the setting is beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Ding, 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 ding. Yo, fucking dancing. You just want to start dancing with the waitress and shit. You know, get up on there, start humping her and shit. Mr. Jemaya looking at me about to slap the fuck out me. But that's the setting that it is. So you enjoy that. You go to a Jamaican restaurant. The waiter has dreads hide in the fucking ceiling. And yeah, he's a cool guy, whatever like that. But it's a lot of extra carrying on and shit like that. That's just my opinion. I don't really give a shit. I'm telling you what happens in, in, in my, my, my whereabouts since I've been around the area. You know what I'm saying? This is what happens. And it's just like it's just too Jamaican. You know what I'm saying? It's just like two. two. It's two. It's just like somebody being too Italian. And the shit is extra slit back. Like, bro, you can fucking slide down that shit like it's a ski slope. Like, listen, bro, that's too much. You have to have a limit. That's all I'm saying. And I'm attacking my culture right now. I'm not even getting into anybody else's shit. I'm just saying, if I'm going to get ice cream, I don't want to see a dude having a fake go, hey, yo, boy, I would blood. Like, listen, I don't need that. That's all I'm saying. I don't need it. You need to go sit the fuck down someplace and go drown in a curry goat bowl. Like, listen, nigga, go fuck it. Yo, nobody needs to know that. And it's no way you're 100% always yard every day. Like, you don't wake up doing that. I guarantee you that same motherfucker wakes up talking just like how I'm talking right now. Regular English. Motherfucker goes out. You're like, transform. Like, yo, yo, well, go out. Like, shut the fuck. Listen, cut it out. That's all I'm saying. And I'm letting my people know that listen to me to understand. If you get into an altercation with a Jamaican and, you, you know, all of a sudden they start blood cut. Don't be excited. If you're going to fuck him up, fuck him up anyway. Him being able to talk another fucking type of dialect means nothing. He's still a punk ass bitch. Handle your business. Until next time, one love.